Hi. Hi. My name is Kerlin. My name is Mika. I'm John. And together with Charlotte Habermans at AVI, we are forming the Salford Ocean Jellyfish team here on board Polarster. Jellyfish are an important component of uh, marine ecosystems, but still they are largely understudied. So we are here to fill that knowledge gap. It is important to study how jellyfish are distributed around Antarctica, but also which environmental factors are driving this distribution. This way we may be able to predict under current climate change how some species will may expand their distribution and may take over the southern ocean ecosystem or maybe will completely disappear. And for this I'm using different net catches but also I'm applying environmental DNA techniques. has been considered trophic dead end because of their watery composition and because they are rapidly digested inside the stomach of their predators. In my work, I will implement new molecular techniques to uh, describe the trophic role of jellyfish, in other words, to know who eats them. Did we get a lot in the net? We just got one and it was full of algae. So okay. we hope to get more and we can take next pictures. Cool. Fingers crossed. <laughs> We still know very little about the true diversity of Antarctic jellyfish and their polyps. Indeed, many species still remain to be discovered. My research focuses on polar hydrosol, in particular those species that are present in both the Arctic and the Antarctic. This phenomenon is known as vapolarity, and it spreads through the whole tree of life, from tiny bacteria to huge waves. Through my project Pole to Pole, I aim to uncover the speciation processes behind this interesting phenomenon. Okay. <laughs> Focus. One, two, three.